Now, when you first install WordPress, uh, whether we did it from SiteGround or whether you installed a fresh installation, you always get asked, well, what is the theme you want to do? And the very first theme that pops up at the time of recording is 2021. It's this one here. Next year it will be 2022, 2023. That's how it works. And this is where I was talking about the, the, the very basic aqua greeny color. Uh, it's not even aqua green. It's like a faded moss. Oh, I'm getting my colors mixed up now. Anyway, you got this color pops up. Now, that is a very basic website, and I do not recommend that you use that to build. What you really want to be using is Hello. So the Hello um, uh, theme is recommended and built by Elementor, and it is the cleanest theme that you're going to get. It is great for performance. There's no bloat on it. Now, what you would do is um, when you first go to WordPress, you're going to have this theme activated. What you do is you go to Add New, and over here, I'm going to type Hello. And the Hello theme is there. And I will click install and then I will activate it. Look, this is what you would see, the word install. I mean, when you've done that, you get activated. Don't, don't get, don't think that the Hello HV or the Hello Fashion is the same. No, it's just people putting that word on. It's the Hello Elemental theme, okay? Another one that um, many people use is Astra. The Astra theme, not Astral, just Astra. Again, you could install that. That's not a bad one to use if you've got a shop like a WooCommerce website or a blogging website, just because it has a few extra things like a sidebar, which I don't really use much, but the Hello theme works really well for me. There are a lot of videos out there that use Ocean WP. Now, Ocean WP has loads, loads more features on it, but if you are going to be using Elemental, an Elemental Pro to use your website, you don't need to be like sat here looking at all of these themes and going, well, I like the look of that, and I like the look of that, and I'm going to use that. Because what, as soon as you do that, so take this elite commerce one. That's the look of it. That's the layout. And you are going to be limited as to how much you can maneuver and manipulate the layout and the look of that. And there's a danger that there'll be someone else out there that will have the same looking website as you. Or you're going to do spend two or three days working on it, and there's one little thing you hate and you can't get rid of it because it was built into the theme. Whereas with Hello, you can do what you want. You can do what you want with Astra as well, to be honest, if you're using a blank page, which is what, what I always recommend. But the Hello works for you. So what I've done is I've installed Hello. So let me just go to my themes. I activated Hello and this one is now inactive. I'm going to just click it and I'm going to delete it out. OK, I don't need it. So I now only have one theme. Again, if you have five or six themes loaded in your back end and you're only losing, using one, they are still loaded on your WordPress contents folder. They are still taking up space on your server. So you decide is if you want to free up your server space or you don't really care. I would always say care. Care about your website. This is, this is your little baby. You've got to care for it and look after it. Okay, now we've got the Hello theme installed. What we're now going to do is customize it. And this is where, if you're using Astra or Ocean WP or anything else like that, ignore this page because this was a, a, a fake page. Uh, you'll normally get a blank page pop up, by the way. So when you go into um, Astra or Ocean, they will have a pre built header and a pre built footer. If you're using Elemental Pro, get rid of what they give you. Okay, we want to do everything with Elemental. Hello does not give us a pre built header or footer. If you go to Elemental Settings, you can activate in the experiments uh, a Hello header footer. But again, I would say just keep it out and just build it all within Elemental properly in a way. Now, in Hello, we are going to have to change the site identity. And I'm going to come on to that in a later video after we've designed a logo. But I just want to let you know that the area for your logo is going to go here in site identity, okay? But the logo we put here won't be the one we'll be using in the header because we'll be using a separate feature for that. But I just want you to know you do want to make sure in your site identity or your hello theme or your astro theme or your ocean or whatever, you've gone into site identity and you've put your logo in here. But we'll come back to that later on.